Hello everyone! This is the first part of a series on how to make a racing game. In order to show you the development process, I will develop a project for mobile devices. It will be an open world game with cartooning and racing with different modes. This is a mobile project, so I decided not to do complex physics, but choose an asset from asset store. The essence of the assets work is that in fact we don't control the wheels of the car. We just simply push the ball with rigid body. At this time, procedural animation works on the car body and on the wheels. If you will use another physics asset, this video will also be useful for you, because I will show useful things such as camera settings, calculation of a drift angle and much more. Also, I bought some assets with car models in the asset store from this asset maker. These are the models I will use in this project. Before starting work, we must install Cinemachine on our project. It is required to work with camera. To do this, simply go to Package Manager, select Unity Registry and search for Cinemachine. Next, click on the Install button in the lower right corner. After that, add the Cinemachine Brain component to the main camera. Also add an empty object to a scene and add the Cinemachine Virtual Camera component. Then configure this component like mine. In the Follow and Look at fields, you will need to insert an object that the camera should follow. Let's start. The asset I bought already has a car prefab. I just need to drag it onto the scene. This asset works in such a way that the root object always stay in the same position. Therefore, I need to bind the camera to the vehicle object. Then in the car settings, we need to choose layer on which the car can drive. I'll do it later. As we can see, the camera is jerky, so go to the Cinemachine Brain component and set the fixed update. That looks better. Ok, let's change the car model right away, so it will be easier for us to work on the physics. The next problem I would like to address is that the car tilts forward unnaturally when accelerating. It is the body object that is tilted. We have to find the required method. For now, just change the direction of the tilt. Looks better, but still far from ideal. We need to make the tilt depend on the change in acceleration. So we need to count delta velocity. For this, it's necessary to obtain acceleration along the local space.
Then to get the delta, we just need to subtract the current acceleration from the one saved in the previous iteration. After subtracting, save the acceleration again. I'm using animation curve for smoothness, but for now we have to remove this line for a while to see what approximate values the delta velocity z variable reaches. This method must be placed in the fixed update. Thus, we are guaranteed to receive the delta at the same time intervals. We have values range from about minus 0 0.15 to 0 0.15. Let's back the deleted line. Next, we need to adjust the curve. My values range from minus 0 0.15 to 0 0.15, so my time fields should be the same. The value fields are between minus 1 and 1 anyway. You can turn the curve to your liking. The main thing is not to shift the center and edges. I made a mistake in the code. Here, clamp is not needed. If you have about 1 during acceleration and minus 1 during deceleration, then everything is fine. Next, we again find the method in which the tilt occur and make the x rotation change depending on delta velocity. Everything works well, but I'll probably play around with the curve. I didn't select the ground layer, because of this such bugs occur. Let's fix it. The next thing I will do is turn the wheel in the direction of sliding. To do this, we need to get the sliding angle. Let's add two variables. First variable drifting angle is the actual drifting angle. And second variable normalized drift angle is the drift value from minus 1 to 1. It is important to make sure that we can get these variables from other scripts. Since we will use it to configure the camera and for scoring. In normalized drift angle, write the result of dividing drift angle by 90. By 90 because I plan to make the drift angle from minus 90 to 90. Thus we get a value from minus 1 to 1. And in Drifting Angle, we will write the angle between the direction of movement and direction of the car body. And of course, don't forget to bring this to the console to check. We have to also place this method in Fixed Update. If you have values between minus 1 and 1 when drifting, then everything is fine. Now we have to implement the rotation of the wheels in the direction of drift. To do this, let's add a variable to set up maximum wheels rotation angle. 
Next we have to find the method that turns the wheels and change it a little bit. Everything works perfectly. So we got to the camera controller. I plan to make a change of perspective when drifting. Therefore, in addition to the main virtual camera, I need to make two more for the right and left sides. Let's start with the right on. Be sure to select Quaternion so that the view does not shift. Let's temporarily make the priority higher and smart update in the main camera so that we can see the change during the setup process. Then you can choose the angle at your discretion. The main thing is that the camera is to the right of the car. After that, we need to duplicate the virtual camera and flip the values so that the camera is on the left side. Next, add the empty object to the scene and the Cine Machine Mixing Camera Company to it. And throw all virtual camera inside this object. The behavior of the camera can be checked in this way. If everything suits you, go ahead. For the camera to work smoothly, we need one more variable. We will define it in the calculate drift angle method. Also, note that I slightly changed the definition of drift angle, so that it is zero when the car is stationary. Well, before we start working on the camera, it will be better to use the new variable to smoothly rotate the wheels. Ok, now we have to make a new script. Let's call it camera controller and let's immediately add the camera controller component to the camera controller object. At the first, let's remove all unnecessary. Then add links to the cine machine mixing camera and vehicle behavior components, adding missing labels along the way. Then we need to add three loads for each of the virtual cameras. Smoothness will be used to smooth out camera movement. For ease of use, put drifting in a variable and count the weights of the cameras. Let's make a method for smooth change of value and set the weights in the Cine Machine Mixing Camera Company. Don't forget to check the indexes of virtual camera. Now 
Oops, I forgot to return fixed update. I also forgot to put minus here. Everything works fine now. I played a little with the camera angles and this is what I got. Thanks for watching. If you want to support me, links for donation in the description. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe not to miss new videos. See you in the next video.